Alright, what is going on everybody? Before I get into the video, I want to announce that I just uploaded a video on my second channel. Link is in the description on what happened with Lost and Nevada, my thoughts, my ideas on what happened. So make sure you go check that out, like and subscribe uh, the video, go subscribe to the second channel, and I'll see you guys in this video. What is going on everybody? And today I am here with another NBA 2K17 My League Rebuilding Challenge. And in this one, it is going to be called Everybody Plays Challenge. So... Uh, if you guys want to see more challenges, let's see if this video can get over 850 thumbs up for another challenge. And let me know in the comments, like always, other challenges to do. So here it goes. I'm going to randomly select my team and then stop it. And then I have to win a championship in three years. But 12 people have to get minutes. And I'll make it they have to get at least five minutes. So I can't just give them one minute a game. I have to give 12 people at least five minutes. I'm going to stop it now. And we get the Toronto Raptors. Okay, that's actually a good team to get. I am perfectly fine with that. So we have to get them a championship, but everybody has to play at least five minutes on the team uh, in the rotations thing. And like, so for starters, like I can auto generate this and say like, I have to take away five minutes from him, give it to him. I'm like, I have to give it to all, actually I have to do it to 13 people. I thought it was 12, but no, it's 13 people is what I have to do. So that's how it's going to work. And yeah, so let's get into this. Um... So, I gotta just drop back here. So, like, I have to build either a really nice bench, too. I want to move some people. I want to see if I can move uh, Damari Carroll, definitely, and maybe a Terrence Ross, to be honest. Uh, see what I can get for the two. But, um, let's see. I'll, I'll try it. I don't know if this is going to work. But, hmm. Uh, Jairus, uh, Jairus Smith, uh, Greg Monroe... Big one was not bad, but we have a center already. Joke you know and no. Serge Ibaka and Jeff Green. I like that trade. I wouldn't mind starting Serge Ibaka in the lineup. Thaddeus Young is not bad. TJ Warren, Enos Kanner, but I, I like that. Serge Ibaka trade the most, so we're doing that. And we're giving him a future first, but we're also getting Jeff Green. So that's going to be my only trade for season number one. We're going to be doing that. So the lineup is going to be Lowry, DeRozan, uh, Jeff Green, Ibaka, Valanchunas. Okay, so I have to make sure everybody gets five minutes. So we're going to get five minutes to seek him. Uh, five minutes to Pertle. Uh, we gotta take five more off Solinger. I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. To Delon right, and then one more. Uh, let's just take one more down from everybody in the starting lineup. And then we're gonna get five minutes to Lucas, uh, Nogiria, Nogira, whatever. Actually, I'd rather start Caboclo, honestly. So let's start Bruno Caboclo, and that's gonna be it for me now, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of season one, and let's see how this experiment goes. All right, guys, end of season number one. Russell Westbrook averages a triple double, almost 30 points a game, 11 and a half rebounds, and 10 assists. Just absurd numbers. Simmons, Knight, Jordan, uh, Russell, Kerr. Oh, Drummond gets defensive player of the year. Okay, I never really see that in defense in uh, year one, and I would have got the awards perfect with that. So. That's okay. So let's see. Any Raptors here? There's DeMar DeRozan getting 26 minutes. See, everybody's minutes, I guess, goes down when you got to play everybody on the team. Uh, All NBA third team. No, Lowry. Okay. Any Raptors? Uh, Pertle, did he make it? Nope. So we go 47 and 35. That was honestly best to, to give us the third seed. I think we'll win in the first round against the Hawks, but I don't think we're going to make it anywhere past there. So stats wise, DeRozan. 27 points about he was amazing Kyle Lowry 18 and 8 he was very good too Valanciunas 8 uh 10 and 9 I meant Ibaka 10 and 6 and a half kind of disappointed Jeff Green about 9 and a half points all right let me just make sure you have everybody that played had stats uh they averaged five and a half minutes a game so we're good there let me just make sure the rotation I'm gonna have to leave it the same which kind of sucks yep everyone's getting five minutes there so let's get here into the playoffs and see what happens. So round one against the Hawks. Will we beat them? I think we can do it. Um, we're down 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two, and we lose 4-2 to two in season number one. Alright, so this challenge is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to build a very good bench in this. I don't even think I could roll up my starting lineup. I'm going to have to build like an amazing bench for this. And then that's how I'm going to win it. So the Cavs win a 5 in season number one. Alright guys, there's a very small chance of me thinking this trade will go through. I'll be sending Corey Joseph the 23rd overall pick in the NBA draft. And the 20th pick in the NBA draft to the Sixers for the sixth overall pick in the draft. Will they do this? No. Okay, so we're going to have to try to find maybe seven or eight we would have to get. Uh, who's got eight? Or seven, we could try it with the Kings. They agree to that. Okay, so we get the seventh pick in the draft. Uh, do I, I don't think I'm going to trade anybody else. I looked at offers for Valanchunas, but I don't think there's really any that I want to do. Like DeAndre Jordan I could get, uh, but I'll take the seven million just for now on Valanchunas. And... Harrison Barnes, I saw, but that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going to go into the draft. I'll see you guys at Rookie Sires with who I took at the 7th uh, overall pick. 
All right, guys, so for the 7th overall pick, we get Marquise Bolton, who's a 74 overall, and we have Ever Kerr, who's a 69 overall, which isn't too bad. He could maybe be the 13th man on the rotation, but we'll see. Definitely want to bring back Norman Powell, Dewan Wright, uh, Lucas Nogueira, I'm going to let walk, Fred Van Vito bring back, and Kyle Lowry declines his player option, so he is now a unrestricted free agent. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can snag him back. 28 mil, uh, I will offer you 28 mil and a player option to come back. Uh, Serge Ibaka, we do have bird rights on him, but he wants to test. Same with Solinger, we do not have bird rights on him, which is kind of unfortunate. Patrick Peterson, or Patrick Patterson, this isn't football, Patrick uh, Patterson, I will offer uh, the minimum too. So, day one, like, I'm obviously going to always try to get KD, and I'm going to try to get Steph, but, uh, see, that's why. I kind of want to see if I can snag a big name player here, and then work about, or try to get Kyle Lowry as well, because I have bird rights on Kyle Lowry. Because that's what you kind of try to do, or you should try to do in in these off seasons. Uh, so let's give Chris Paul. I would definitely want to bring you in over Kyle Lowry, but let's just see who will accept. Oh, I wanted to offer you a no trade clause, but it's fine. Uh, and Gordon Hayward will be the last player offer a deal. I'll give him twenty six mil. Uh, yes, twenty six mil, and player option as well. So uh, let me just make sure I offer Serge Ibaka a deal, and we'll get through with this. I'll give him seventeen mil, um, player option. That's fine. All right. So after day one, nope. Serge Ibaka signs, but I can't. I can't do it yet. KD goes to the Clippers. Okay, that means they're not getting Paul or pretty much Griffin at this point. So let me just make sure we offer Serge Ibaka deal. Uh, seventeen ten is fine. Uh, player option. Okay. So after another day, we get Blake Griffin or Gordon Hayward. Curry accepts another offer. All right. So do I want either Blake or Hayward, or do I want to wait on Chris Paul? I'm gonna actually wait on Chris Paul. See if I can snag him. It might come back to bite me. Um, I'm going to offer him 31 mil player option and a no trade clause. But we're going to see how that works. Let me offer or re-offer Blake Griffin a deal. I'll give him 26 mil uh, and a player option. And for small forward, let me offer Gordon Hayward a deal. 26 mil. I'll give him the same deal. Okay, guys, this is actually, I'll just give him that. No, we don't get it. Okay, Blake Griffin accepts another offer. So does Jared Solinger. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Um, oh, I should have signed Patrick Patterson. I'm dumb. Uh, for the minimum. Okay, can we get Chris Paul? Come on, please just give me Chris Paul. Um, No, why? Oh, he accepts another offer. Damn it, and I lose out on Gordon Hayward. That sucks. That really does. He goes to the Sixers. All right, so I took a risk and I didn't get it. I'm not going to be able to get Gordon Hayward now. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, that'll be for me now, guys. I'll see you guys at the start of next season when we're going to have an interesting rotation out there. Guys, to start off this season, I'm making an interesting trade where I'm trading Serge Ibaka and Lucas Nogueira in a first round pick for Harrison Barnes and Andrew Bogut. I just want to make sure there's no other better trade here that I like. Cameron Payne is interesting, but I do need to start a part. DeAndre Jordan, I saw, but we have Jonas Valanciunas, obviously. So let's make this trade for Harrison Barnes. So welcome to the team, Harrison Barnes. And let me go to uh, coaching here. Uh, okay, so where is he? Where is he? Um, all right, so let me just... Redo this, so it's going to be Lowry, DeRozan, Barnes, Patterson, Valanciunas. We still don't have a power forward. Uh, and we got to make sure we give everybody on this bench minutes. Uh, okay, so Pertle, there's your five minutes. Um, DeLon Wright, there's your five minutes. Uh, Bolden, we'll give rid of some. Powell, nine, ten. Okay, so here we go. We got to give Bruno Caboclo and Everett Kerr uh, minutes. And then that's going to be it. So that's going to be it for me now, guys. Let's see if we can get another top three seed in the East. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Okay, so end of season number two as LeBron James takes home the MVP award. Markel Fultz, rookie of the year. 10 assists in his rookie year. I don't know if he started over Reggie Jackson. That would be interesting to see. Uh, I feel like they made a trade for him because they never usually the worst team in the NBA. Uh, Greg Monroe takes home six man of the year award uh, in Sacramento, you saw in the beginning of the video, I kind of wanted to trade for him. Uh, defensive player of the year goes home to Anthony Davis, 28 15, 2 and 7. Just like amazing stats. Most improved, of course, Corey Joseph after we trade him away, and John Smith, coach of the year for the Rockets. Any Raptors? Uh, there is Kyle Lowry this year making all NBA second team. Okay. All right, I'll take it. Uh, we don't see any DeMar DeRozan. Is Marquise Boulder going to be on here? Um. Yes, he is. Okay, on the second team, or on rookie second team, I should say. 
two points and three rebounds a game so nothing too special we go 42 and 40 we get the 15 down two spots from last year yeah uh, I, I could say we're probably not gonna win it all this year but you never know crazier stuff has happened in 2k before player stats DeRozan 23 Lowry 20 Barnes 13 Valanciunas 12 and 10 Powell 8 you can see everybody got minutes it looks like uh please tell me nothing got screwed up yeah everyone's getting five minutes which is very good to see um i wonder can you give your reserve player minutes oh i guess you can but like they don't play so it doesn't matter so uh yeah we're taking on the pacers in the first round please let us win pacers we're up 2-1 oh my god we win in seven games let's go yes all right Taking on the Cavs, yeah, man, we're probably gonna get swept, yep, okay, we won a game, but yeah, we was in five, and that was expected, but okay, so we gotta win a championship next year, but this challenge is difficult, because not everybody's getting their full minutes, so let me see your week meetings, I just kind of reject all of these usually, just because, um, don't accept someone that screws up the scoring in the NBA, and it just ruins the videos, I think, at this point, so, NBA draft, let's see, what picks do we have, we have the 20th pick, I want to trade Valanciunas, I think, I want to see what I can get for him, um, I know I could have usually gotten uh, DeAndre Jordan, but he's not here. Okay, what if I, if I went to center? Could I work on a crazy trade him for Drummond? I doubt this is possible. What's the problem? We would acquire four mil. That's fine. I would give up. Um, damn, I can't really give up anyone. Marquise Bolden. Um, and you can take Seacam. No, you could take... Okay, I don't even know, guys. I'm going to work on a trade for a new center, and I'll see you guys there. So I think I'm gonna do this shit. I'm trading Harrison Barnes for Son Whitehead. I don't know why they do it. I guess they want to clear up two mil cap space or just move on from him. I don't know, but I'll take this trade. So we get a Son Whitehead on the team. So now this means I want to trade Valanciunas for a small forward. And let me just see him in the first round pick. What's the best deal I'll get? Jay Crowder and a first round pick. I like that trade. Will Barton and Cody Zeller, uh, Serge Ibaka and Olenek, Gallinari. Would I rather have Gallinari or Crowder? I think I'd rather have Crowder. Pavisol, George Hill, Iguodala. I'm going to take this Jay Crowder deal. So, welcome to the team, Jay, Crow uh, Jay Crowder. Um, that is a future first round pick. So, let's just simulate over the draft for this year. And let's go to team player options. Um, so, you can't. Okay, we got to bring back everybody because we need a decent bench. Uh, qualifying offers. Do we have any? Powell, Caboclo, and Fred Van Vliet. Fine. Um, Patterson. Oh, he doesn't even want the minimum this year. But the other guys, they are on restricted free agent contracts. So let's go here into free agency. Paul George. Uh, is Mello a weak contender for you? No. Okay, guys. I'm just going to sign a bunch of people. See you guys at the start of next year with who I signed. Guys, so this is the team for season number three. Yes, I did sign Dirk Nowitzki. He was a free agent. I was able to sign him for a mid-level exception. Give him that contract for a year and a player option. We did sign, like, uh, you can see the, t uh, the team, like Chris Humphreys, Nick Young, and that was pretty much it. So this is the rotation for the last season. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, we can win a championship with this new look Raptors team in season number three. And this season number three, James Harden takes home MVP for the first time in his career. Michael Porter takes home Rookie of the Year. Uh, defensive Player of the Year is Kawhi Leonard. Gordon Hayward, Sixth Man of the Year. That Sixers team is that good. Well, he's probably back in a Ben Simmons, but still. Dario Sarge, most improved. He's probably coming off the bench as well. And John Smith of the Rockets takes home Coach of the Year. Any Raptors? um doesn't look like it on the all nba teams yep no raptors i might have missed over one because i'm usually blind when i look through those but we go 63 and 19 best record in the eastern conference and tied for the best record in the nba with the rockets and the warriors and the Cavs. were a four seed this year all right um sixers 16 22 with chris paul oh my god i am so scared to play them i don't want to play them at all but let's see what happens the rosen drops 23 Lowry, 18 and 7. Whiteside, a lot better than Valachunas was for us. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki was a very nice, uh, probably our best power forward in this video. Better than Patterson and Ibaka. Crowder, very well defensive wise. Uh, 1.2 steals and about a block a game. Norman Powell was our sixth man. Yeah, the bench wasn't too good, but let's see what we can do in these playoffs. Um, yeah, so this is the team. I might honestly give less minutes to Bolden, Seacam, and Pert uh, still now and just give a bunch to. The Rosen. Let me get Lowry 32. Let me give another minute to Whiteside. Um, so this is the team. All right. Please tell me we're not going to get bounced in the first round to 37 win Celtics. All right. We sweep them. And we're taking on LeBron in the second round. Please, please beat them. Yes, we win in five. Let's go. Let's go. This is the final season two. Can we go to the NBA Finals? And we can. Come on. Can we beat the Trailblazers? Please. Game one. We win.
Let's see him cast game two. Let's see him cast game two. It's at home. They got the better of us in the first quarter, but we come back in the second quarter. That's mainly where we won it. DeRozan jumps 24 and 10. Let's go. If we can go up 3 0, I'm confident we'll win this. On the road in Portland, and we're going to go up 3 0. Let's go. We're going to be winning the NBA Finals, I think, unless we blow a 3 0 lead. Okay, it's 3 1. I don't know. We win it in five. Let's go. So here are your NBA champions, guys. Um, the Toronto Raptors here in, what is this, like, uh, 2019. DeRozan is your final MVP. So that's going to be for me now, guys. I just uploaded a video on my second channel. Uh, so go check that out. Link in the description. I probably talked about it more in the beginning of the video. So that's going to be for me. 850 likes is the goal. I love you guys. Comment what other challenges to do next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.